Hello, my name is James Law and I'm an architect focused on the future of design. Thank you to Sebastian and the Future Leadership Initiative for inviting me to share a few thoughts about your upcoming topic of Mr. Robot and the future of design and lifestyle. I would like to share with you that as an architect, I'm always looking at the future with a positive point of view. And within those confines of being a designer that is uh, interested in designing a better world, I have come to become passionate about technology and how innovation can shape our future lives. Your theme is about robots and artificial intelligence. And both of these are going to play increasing role in how we design, build, and actually even accommodate life on this planet in the near future, and perhaps even uh, on other planets as well. The budgeting potential of how we can craft our life blends the ideas of using new materials and technologies, such as artificial intelligence and robotics, into our daily lives. The very space around us which used to be just created out of concrete, steel and glass, will now go beyond that in a much more potentious way. For example, the TV that you see behind me is already beginning to be smart. It sources information on the internet whenever I need and whatever I want to see. Very soon, we will have paints on these walls, which will have nanotechnology that allows it to change color or even change pattern subject to my preference of the day. The photos you see in the photo frames will certainly become more digital and may play video and perhaps even live streaming for me to connect with my family and friends. The plants that you see in my office will be nurtured and protected using nanobiotechnology so these plants can probably grow without much sunlight and in much more harsh conditions like inside the building or inside spaces that are not so pleasant. So what we see around us is changing and what governs it all and manages it all as a network will I believe be a new kind of network architecture based on artificial intelligence. The plant will speak to the TV, the TV will speak to the photo frames, and together they will curate my life around me within this space. The artificial intelligence is there to connect all of these devices around me, to understand my needs, understand my profile, and of course, craft for me, supposedly my most ideal environment. And with some uh, degree of wisdom and control, the artificial intelligence is also meant to keep me safe, keep me healthy, and also keep my relationships with the rest of the world active and productive. This means very much so that human beings are no longer living in latent environments, but in active interactive environments we will not only be communicating with each other, but I believe we'll be communicating with the environment around us. And by doing so, I think it is almost releasing a whole new form of communication between the spaces that we design around us and build with our very lives. For example, when somebody has a cold or has an illness or has a flu. Wouldn't it be wonderful if our homes can know that, turn on an air filter, help us uh, control the spread of disease so that our families don't get infected. This is all possible already in hospitals and clinics, but yet to arrive in our daily lives in our homes. But with the ever lowering cost of technology and the ability to manage all of this technology using artificial intelligence, I think it will be possible 
that very soon the architecture around us uh, literally becomes a cyber texture where we live in a device that is so smart it will help us to curate our daily lives and to keep us safe. Another aspect of the environment around us linked to the artificial intelligence is of course a new generation of devices that we call robots. Now robots have often been portrayed as humanoid, um, really doing things that are mimicking human beings, uh, substituting human function and participation in society. And to a degree, I think that will happen. However, we mustn't be too narrow in our interpretation of what uh, robots can be. Robots are anything that basically, through engineering, through technology, uh, can create a, an impact through its function. So in a way, this TV is a robot already. This digital clock here is already a robot. But there'll be a whole new classes of robots and they will range in all sorts of different functions and in all sorts of different scales. We'll have nanorobots that are possibly injected into us and help us keep healthy from the moment we are born to the moment that we die. There may be medium-sized robots which are basically our partners in life, almost like our pets or our, or our friends. They will keep us company, they will help us with some chores, they'll keep an eye for us uh, on things that we have no time or attention to, to survey. And then to the larger scale robots, which could be participating in a whole new form of industry, from construction to manufacturing, to transportation and to housing. Many of these things will become robots. And in fact, we already have them. Large aircrafts are robots that fly. Trains are basically buildings that move on the ground at high speed, carrying a lot of people. So the robotic world is coming and is already here and it will only get stronger. In conclusion, what I would like to say is that in anything that we do, whether it is to forecast artificial intelligence or robotics and its implication on our daily life, all of this is going to be man-made. And by being man-made, we have a responsibility to set out the values of how artificial intelligence and robotics will affect our daily lives. Those values are in fact more powerful and more important than the technology itself. Like nuclear power, it could have a devastating effect as a weapon, but it can also be an extremely powerful source of energy to power the world. And so as a designer, we have a responsibility not only to apply the latest technologies of artificial intelligence and robotics into our design, but we must constantly ask ourselves, what are the core, good, sustainable, humanistic values behind creating a new generation of designs powered with these technologies? And with those good values, almost anything is possible and all of that will have a lasting good impact for the world. So I'm an optimist. I believe in designing the future. I believe we're in a renaissance period because we are now able to apply such powerful technologies that the human civilization has never done before. And so we should embrace it. We should find the good key values behind it and take humanity to a whole new level. And perhaps we should even think far and wide beyond our own planet. Thank you. I wish you all a wonderful end to the year and good luck with the future event with the theme Mr. Robot 
and how artificial intelligence will affect life on our planet. Thank you.